I to be, uh, you know, I learned the sand and uh, techniques from my experience on uh, Bert Rutan mm -hmm. designing the airplanes mm -hmm. and from hanging around with the Ferrari restorer around the corner. And if you guys mm -hmm. have a little while, if you're interested <laughs> oh, in that kind Ferrari. of stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. The dump truck's yeah. not in, but. I keep my mouth shut so I find out who your neighbors are. <laughs> no, well, that's, that's the guy the right, well, one block away here, mm -hmm. restores and builds. Actually, he does, mm -hmm. you may be interested in this kind of stuff. There, it's a little sort of co-op in there. One guy's just a body and fender man, a painter. Mm -hmm. And the other guy in there makes compound curved aluminum. He's a pan, what oh they gosh. call a panel beater. Wow. Only he does That's it in an English a wheel. Yeah. Yes. It's almost a monster. Well, if you want to see it then, we'll, I'll show you. Yeah. Yeah. Remind me. Oh, don't, God, don't, we'd love don't to see that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love Would that. Would be interested in his research project? Yeah. Yep. And of course, we got it. We got a lot of. We're going to have to have a lot of qualifiers on that because the airplane is not to be damaged. Yeah, I'm gonna, really. We're going to cut it up to do something yeah. to it. And if we did flight tests, we got to have a pilot who has done these drop off glides at this wing loading at these speeds. You know that you'd be happy with. No I really, uh, I'm not a, a super uh, pilot, but I wouldn't mind doing that. I've flown the airplane. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I've flown You'd be the best one. I shut the airplane off mm -hmm. probably mm -hmm. about the third hour I flew and got the prop and stopped and, stop and uh, uh, really uh, nice uh, and, uh, and incidentally what happened was the little two-stroke, because it doesn't have a lot of compression on mm -hmm. uh, I could never get the top of the stop entirely. Yeah, it was yeah. always clunk, mm -hmm. clunk, 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 clunk. Mm -hmm. And each time it does that, it makes the airplane saw around. It changes the, the, the trim. Mm -hmm. Uh, you got so that separated flow. I'm like Scott Prop momentarily hanging a wing right there. Yeah, it would just be going around and pointing in different directions. Yeah. You know, just room for one Well, folks. Here it is, the letter going to NASA. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, this is scary. <laughs> you can't understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave that with you. Okay. Your pen. Okay, let me uh, put this right in here so we don't lose it. To, to make you guys understand. Okay, Bruce, is there anything else? What do you want to do next? Uh, well, I, I want to. Do you, you want to see inside well, what's the airplane? What's the scoop underneath here? Ooh, well, that's cabin here. Uh huh. Right. That's my homage to P-51. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. So, so do you bleed? Oh, well, you know, I'll tell you why I did that. I never told this to anybody before. But I, I, the first thing is you notice it's off-center. Mm -hmm. And it's off-center because I didn't want to pick up any of those kind of any, anything that yeah. might be leaking out of here. Yeah, you don't want to get that slow down there. You want to get... Well, flight, flight speed air or I whatever was, the local was. I was interested in getting as much velocity as I could through sure. there, but also I wanted to keep it away from, so I wasn't picking up anything that was sort of peeing mm -hmm. out of the, out of that oh, yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so very good. So I like to combine well, that's that is a um, okay. fuel vent. Oh, fuel vent. And also the scupper vent. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bruce. Well, an airplane that looks clean on the bottom. It no, does look pretty good. Nothing hanging out of it. Do you see the pieces of tape I have on the wing over there? Yeah. Those are, that's a flow direction uh -huh. uh, based on, uh, just, I just did that when we brought the airplane back in. Uh, I have some bug strikes there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I thought that would help me to line up the fairings and stuff on the, on the, the uh, landing gear strut when I made, remade it. The rope on the right wing is uh, your Yeah. You know, uh, not a very sophisticated looking unit over there, is it? Let's see. <laughs> That's the pedo tube hanging down there with the. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Doug, your dad is a real airplane. Uh, anybody who will get on the floor of a composite <laughs> shop to roll around and look underneath the airplane is a real. <laughs> this inspection panel here is for. Uh, aileron, aileron, push rod uh, uh, push uh, tube rod, comes out yeah. there. Sure. Let me just pull some panels off of here. Yeah. You can look uh, all you want. No, no, we won't stop the camera. No, we're going to take, take little bits and pieces mm -hmm. out of this yeah. thing. And Let me just see if I've got the gauge set for about the right range here. Let's see what Dr. Car Carmichael is talking not, about. Not here. doctor, no. No, you're not a doctor? If there hadn't right. been a war on, I wouldn't have got a bachelor's degree. <laughs>
God, that is smooth. Just a little bit there. Maybe I'm over a spar. <laughs> uh, yep. It's the back side of the, of mm -hmm. the spar, I think, probably. I don't see too much. Oh, well, there goes something. Oh, no, you get this is a design increasing uh, curvature at this point, but it's smooth. Okay, the gauge is set all right for where we are. Now, one person um, will run the gauge and call out the numbers. Okay, want me to do that? The, and the other one will uh, plot them here. Okay. And let's see, I'm in the range of about 80 to 70. Oh, okay. Like a perfect run for mm -hmm. 60. You probably may want to come around stand where I'm standing to do okay. it. Okay, you want to trade places with me? Back there, well, okay. let's see, maybe I might be able to do that. Can I run it? Uh, yeah. Well, let's see. Okay. Do I want to start back here at zero? No, you can't get that close. You'll okay. we'll have to uh, come up to where we're, you know, up in, okay. say, uh, about in here. Where we're Okay. Do you want to do, do you want to look at the the numbers, uh, the inches, and I'll read the gauge, or do you want to read the gauge and I'll read the inches, or both? Um, Should I do both? You'll just call out, Mitchell. Uh, you go every quarter inch, but you can call out every inch or two. Give me a number so I make sure I'm plotting where you are. Okay. Oh, every quarter of an inch. Okay. And so this little leg right here, opposite the opposite the inch mark, is what I'm reading. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's um, 68 even. Mm -hmm. uh, 12 and a half. It's 67 and a half. Now, what you have to remember is that we have expanded the vertical scale here. Uh, let's see now. This is in 10 units here is an inch, and 10 units here is two thousandths of an inch. Uh -huh. So we've. Um, so we're exaggerating. We're exaggerating. The uh, 500 times the vertical scale is exaggerated compared to the mm -hmm. horizontal scale. Can we put that down here, Bruce, so yeah. we can mm -hmm. take a look? Now, now we'll draw some mean lines through and we'll look to peak to peak. And, uh, so that is an exaggerated chart yeah. showing the That's waviness. That's 500 times lumpier than mm -hmm. the wing. Yeah, that right. 500 mm -hmm. times lumpier yeah. than, the wing, mm -hmm. than the wing actually yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Now where we see this, this <laughs> biggest joggle through here is in your spar location, uh -huh. and that's where it's hardest to keep the... Just about where I'd expect it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now if we look at peak to peak, see we've got this much is a one thousandth of an inch. Uh -huh. So we're coming up here peak to peak, we've got one, two, three, about three and three quarters peak to peak. Mm -hmm. uh, wave at that point. Three and three quarters thousandths. Yeah, and this one is is one two is three, uh, three thousandths peak to peak. Mm -hmm. That means that put a mean line through, you've got about one and a half um, parts in a thousand uh, mm -hmm. ripple in the wing, which mm -hmm. is is what the racing sailplane pilots work all winter to get their wing waviness down somewhere close to this. Really, but most of them will quit rubbing when they are peak to peak four thousandths of an inch and this is or peak more. To peak this is peak to peak three, three here at this point so um, they, and um, really they're overdoing it at that because it's it's really the half waves you have to look at the ratio of the wavelength and the, and the wave depth or the wave height mm -hmm. so let's look at this this is one this is two thousandths and it's spread out over an inch and a half so it's less than um, two parts in a thousand. If it was in one inch, it'd be one part. Uh, two would be uh, two parts in a thousand. Mm -hmm. But it's over an inch and a half. So it's uh, like one and a half parts per thousand. And that is very, very low waviness. I've seen our experimental shops at, at Rockwell work weeks to build a research model for a wind tunnel or a water tunnel and reduce the waviness to this order. Hmm. Somehow you did it in your home workshop. Boy, I got lucky. <laughs> tell, now tell me what your technique was. How did you really do it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll show you the board. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, it's over on that uh, stool over there, is it? Uh, oh yeah. That's all right. So basically, um, 
I covered the whole uh, airplane with a, uh, like about an eighth of an inch of, uh, of micro balloons and epoxy. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's all covered with a, with that thick paste, and um, spent a couple of months sanding with this board mm -hmm. in this uh, in this direction mm -hmm. at 45 degrees to the to the cord and come back over and sand it in this direction. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing uh, really tricky, and I never used a bent yeah. spline going this way. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is uh, what everybody told me to, to, to uh -huh. do. Uh, to never use this. Yeah. To always use the bent spline. So yeah. I don't know how really how to explain it. Damn. Now, basically, what is the wing construction? Um, I don't know if you want to go into this at this time. But, uh, well, uh, actually, we'll, I'll go into that uh, because we've already we're going to go through it in, in later in the film. But just basically, uh, it's a solid foam, solid foam. F mm -hmm. core, mm -hmm. uh, hot wire cut, mm -hmm. and glass, mm -hmm. and then covered with that uh, micro balloon and epoxy. I'm I'm simplifying a little bit, but yeah, actually, it's a hollow core oh. from from the leading from the uh, uh, spar forward, oh. which you mm -hmm. can see if you look up underneath in here. You can see that it's. Uh, Oh, There's yes. the, mm -hmm. uh, the forward space of the spar right mm -hmm. where the landing gear attaches, and then this was just hot wire cut to to give me room to run uh, um, controls and hydraulic lines, mm -hmm. and and, mm -hmm. and there are some ribs. Uh huh. Oh, did you get the uh, fiberglass on the inside? Oh, I glassed before I before I attached the oh. leading edge to the to the wing. I see. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then back here, it's solid foam. Solid skin foam. To skin. Yeah. This uh -huh. is just uh, just mm -hmm. it's the construction is very much like the long easy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Remarkable. Well, is it? That's. Uh, yeah. That, I'm that surprised is to hear you say that it's, a, that it's a good wing. Yeah, that's a very low order of weakness. Well, I think it accounts for a lot of the performance too. You're probably getting very close to the. Uh, design performance of the 65 series airfoil, mm. which means that at least back to 50% of cord, they hope for laminar flow. So if you aren't bugged up, it's uh, chances very good that, that you've got that, which means you've got the drag coefficients that were found in the wind tunnel, which is under 005 uh, for the um, without control surface, 0047 as I remember somewhere mm -hmm. in there, and uh, the control surfaces probably wouldn't add, these are very clean uh, control gaps probably wouldn't bring it up above 005. And there are instruments you can put behind a wing in flight and actually uh -huh. measure what the drag is. Is that the rake? Yes, the yeah. rake, yeah. Uh -huh. You know, I, one of the things I didn't mention to you was that all of the control surfaces on the airplane are all thicker than the, than the surface they're yeah. attached yeah. to. Mm -hmm. It's that thing yeah. I saw in Horner. Right, mm -hmm. yeah, and it does tend to reduce yeah. the drag. It basically it reattaches mm -hmm. the flow. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Too. Well, very interesting. So, so in 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 some, you would say that this wing is probably about what you would find on a reworked competition sailplane. Yes. Uh huh. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's that helps explain why it's going a little, uh, why it goes fast. Exactly.